Hi there! In today's video, we are going over the great debate, yarn over versus yarn under, which is better? And to do that, we're going to make some samples and then compare the two to see which one works better for amigurumi and which one you'd prefer to use. So first, I'm going to make all of my samples with the same amount or same yarn. So this is Wool of the Andes Worsted. I'm going to use my three millimeter hook for all of the samples. And instead of a stitch marker, I'm going to use some scrap yarn because we are going to be looking at the stitch drift, which if you don't know what that is, I will get into it a little bit later in the video. But for the meantime, and now I'm going to put the little sample pattern up on the screen. We're just making a simple little ball. And so you can follow along with me. Now for the first version, I am going to do yarn over. Okay, really quickly. Um, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about with yarn over, yarn under, yarning over is wrapping your yarn over your hook when you pull, and then you pull it through. And then yarning under is yarning underneath your hook and pulling it through. So that's the difference here. So this first sample is going to be made with yarning over. And I'm going to put my... little yarn tail here so we can keep track and now I'm going to skip ahead so you don't have to sit and watch me make this entire poll. okay so this is the first sample the yarn over sample and you can see the stitches resemble small V's as you're going along and when we're looking at the stitch drift starting from here at our magic ring holding it completely vertical. You can see it diagonally shifts by the time we get to the last row here where we close it up. And when you're working it, it's going to be facing this way. So I'm right-handed, so it's going to shift to the right. If you're left-handed, it will shift slightly to the left. Now this isn't super like dramatic, um, but stitch drift can affect a pattern, whether you're doing color work or placing features like no sew limbs or even doing shaping for the, like a face so that's just something to keep in mind now that is the yarn that's the yarn over sample so then yarn under you can see this one is a little bit smaller i have the exact measurements in a table on the blog post if you want to read that and looking at it the drift is just a teeny bit straighter looking at where we started right here to where we ended, like so. And the stitches are shaped like little X's. And this is much tighter, it's a much denser little ball. Whereas this one is a little bit gappy. If this was much larger, you could definitely see stuffing through it. So those are the big differences between yarn over and yarn under. And this one did take like a tiny bit more yardage. This was, I believe, uh, just under nine yards of yarn, whereas this was just over eight yards of yarn. So it's not a huge difference, but yarn over does take slightly more yarn. Now, lastly, I wanna talk about a third variation. And this one is yarn under, yarn over. So when you're starting a stitch, when you insert, you would yarn under and pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through both loops. That's what I'm referring to when I say yarn under, yarn over. And that creates this little variation. Now, I know that it's very hard to tell that they look different. This one actually does create X style stitches and see right there they're just a little less defined than this one and it is slightly bigger than the yarn under sample it matches more closely with the yarn over and the stitch drift is about the same as the yarn over sample so keep in mind like if you're working a pattern and the designer uses only yarn over um, using the yarn under yarn over method would be probably a good substitute. However, if you're noticing that color work or features are drifting, make sure you check that first. 
but if you are doing something in a pattern says that the designer used yarn under only um, just be aware that that may cause problems if you don't do only yarn under like I said it depends on the pattern but it can affect how color work lines up and how features line up so which one do you think is better and why I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments do you prefer yarn over or yarn under or the mixed method I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time bye